Hello, today we're, we're calculating the vertex and the axis of symmetry again, and we're just kind of continuing from this lesson. So you'll notice on numbers 1 and 2, there was only a 1 in front of the x squared, which makes the calculations just a bit more simple. And so on today's pod, you'll have some questions that where the math is just a little bit more difficult, but no worries, we'll go over how to do it. So let's do our axis of symmetry, so x equals negative b over 2a, that's our general formula, and a negative b is going to be the opposite of whatever's in front of the x. So we're going to put a positive 8, it always has a 2, and then you're going to fill in whatever is in front of the x squared. So this time it just happens to be 2 also. And so 8 divided by 4 equals 2. So that 2 is going to go straight into this box right here. And up here, you're going to write 2x squared minus 8x plus 5, because that's our function that will tell us what y is if we know what x is. Oh, I almost forgot. Why don't we graph the 2 right now? So x equals 2 is a vertical line right at 2. OK. And now we're going to plug this in. So we've got 2. And inside this little blank space, Notice that says x squared, so you're going to put 2 squared minus 8 times 2 plus 5. Now this one, I think just to make it easier to do the calculation, 2 squared is 4, so it's almost like you can kind of replace that there right now or do that part in your head, and then think 2 times 4 is 8, and then do your other multiplication. So negative 8 times positive 2 is negative 16. And we still have a plus 5 right there at the end. 8 minus 16 is negative 8 plus 5. And then negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3. OK, so now we're going to graph over 2, down 3. 1, 2, 3. All right, that's it for today. And tomorrow, we'll finally finish graphing the whole parabola. All right, talk to you later. Bye.